Hey everyone, Dipon here. Welcome back to Hardcore Tarkov, episode 136 here. We got a lot of stuff to go over uh, from running the random scab cases, but then we're probably going to hop on a map and have fun, more fun with this DVL and SR2M. Uh, it's going to be a good episode. We'll see you in there. Ramble Pine is rambling. Cheers, YouTube. If you made it this far, you're awesome. That's it. That's it. If you made it this far in the series, you're seriously awesome. So, big news. Well, I say big news. Confirmed. As of 12 hours ago, there was a was an elite wooden 22 grip, 226 grip on the flea market for 80,000 rubles. I did, obviously did not buy it, but it confirms that they are still in the game. They're still going. <sighs> We're just unlucky. <laughs> We're just unlucky. So, also, we got the I got the troll 226 uh, tactical slide here. Yep, yep. So, did get trolled by the uh, the scab case a little bit, but that's how it goes. But we got some nice stuff. We got like a DT hybrid. We got this thing, which we're probably not gonna end up using. Um, we are we are well into boss event and other pre wipe events. I think Labs is free right now, and then they just removed all like flea market fees or something they did they did something silly with the flea market that i'm just like i didn't really read it because we're not we're playing hardcore and i don't really care <laughs> so um yeah yeah so just things that don't really affect us so we're definitely well into the pre-wipe events it looks like it's 100 confirmed 26 is the actual wipe date so we're gonna do up to the 25th and then our rules video for the 20 for next season is going to come out the 26th I'm actually going to film that later today um because there's some caveats in there because the rules may need to adjust for next wipe because of arena because of the hitboxes because of like the armor plating and how that works and like like do we need to be able to buy that i don't know so like there's there's some there's some definitely some up in the air questions of how the mechanics are going to work that i would like to leave open-ended for us to adjust on the fly with for the next rule set um so i'm gonna cover that in the rules video of course and we'll we'll see where it goes from there you know but it's gonna be i think we're settled in on the pretty just classic rule set keep it simple the interesting part about next wipe is going to be the 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 goals that i have in mind not necessarily the rules and my goals are very aggressive they are I want I want to try to get to Kappa I want to try to get to Kappa and I want to I want to max hide out as well so from standard which is which is tough that's tough so okay but yeah that's some of the stuff we got there nothing again nothing too exciting we only have the the, the 95k scav runs here um let's check our hider real quick though oh it's already loaded let's go oh so close all right, I'm going to chill with chat for a second. All right, I know. We'll, we'll, we'll check these guys while we're waiting here. Interesting. Huh. That's fascinating. I mean, we can absolutely do that. Do I care about these things? I don't think so. I just... that That's a really cool... I like that, actually. Survive D2 a couple times, huh? No, nothing worthwhile. While using throwables or pistols. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, well, we'll restart that and... Who's got Psycho Sniper? You. We'll restart both of those as a just-in-case. Uh, let's go ahead and just replace that. Because I don't care. Marksman Rifles. Again, unless we have... Oh, we don't have enough euros to replace that. Okay, fair. Unless we have, like... Unless it's giving us something we really want. Like, there's just no reason. Pretty was not terrible. But that's Hangar Gate, so that's the lab. So, yeah. Scabs from 50 meters. Eh. 
we'll leave it at that because that's just simple. Okay, here we go. Scav case complete. What do we got? I was really hoping it would just give it to us. <laughs> you know, I was really hoping that. We got a bunch of stuff in there, but in our in our hideout to work with, but it's okay. Uh, I think those are there, right? Yep, those are there. 193 is like the second best, I think. Which is interesting. All right, let's put all these guns away. So I guess we decide what map we go. We went to Shoreline, and that has like a four of the big plastic crates we can loot. Um, oh, I was thinking about maybe taking in all of the extra keys as well. And see, because like we could we could go into here. And some of these will have weapons parts. I don't remember which ones. I don't even know. Some of these may even be like... Interesting. Um, overdone. All right. So let's actually leave those in here, and we'll just we'll just we'll bring these in because because I think West Wing does have quite a few weapons like plastic weapons grades. We'll just put those in there as well. That's whatever. I don't want to actually loot into this thing. But I guess that's just a chance we'll have to take. Uh, we were doing CMS for sure. We'll just put the BT in there. That's pretty good. This, is, this still works for us. Yeah, I think we're good to go. I don't really need this backpack either. No, as soon as I say that, I mean, we just, what, what are we even looting? What are we trying to loot here? You know, like, what are we trying to loot here? Let's be real with our, let's be real. Let's be real with ourselves. You know? Do we, do we need it? We don't. We're going some grenades in case of a player. It's funny, I don't even really like impact grenades, especially on this map, but it's fine. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Interchange equals 77 plastic crates. Lighthouse equals 59. And reserve equals 58. Yeah, so interchange does have the most plastic crates. That, does, that doesn't surprise me. Um, based on what's down below there. So. But yeah, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we go shoreline one more time. Oh, that's a tough one. I think I'd rather deal with... Well, I, I do want players over player scavs. But yeah, we'll go shoreline. Um, and maybe we'll, maybe we'll loosely, like, if we survive this raid without the part, we'll maybe go, like, interchange with this kit, and then maybe we'll go woods with this kit, and then, you know, just keep having fun with this kit until we die, and then loosely work on the guide, but not really. Um, which is, you know, hard to do. I did sell some. I shouldn't have sold the Alton. We should have done the Alton for, uh, Factory. That's really the best way you want to start it. So, um, anyway, I'll see y'all in raid. All right, first raid of the day. Uh, this is coming out the 23rd, so happy Christmas Eve, Eve, YouTube. Hmm. I feel like my chair's leaning back more than it used to. All right, I do wonder after this recent, so I, I, have, I figured out why the raids were so active, I think, because people were like just hyped about playing Arena and didn't have access, so they just wanted to play Tarkov instead. So I think that's why they were so, so active. Um, and I wonder if they're, this next big wave has made the, it was going to make the servers a little bit more quiet. Some people tend to play the pre-wipe events as well. Which again, I think we're up to like free labs and 15 players on labs. So it's just like a bunch of that. There's something to do with the flea market today. Chat, can somebody say ex explicitly what was happening on the flea market today? Is there something like no fees or something like that? You have no idea if you have a read. You should have gotten an email. I got the email the day one, but I was I just didn't have time. Fee is one ruble, and all have five slots to sell. Got it. Okay, so you can sell anything on the flea market. 
And all users have max slots. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Which doesn't affect us in hardcore, of course. That's over, over yonder. I don't really need anything from caches right now. I'm sure there's something we can think of that we need from caches, but what I need... Oh, another big news. According to chat, and I'm actually inclined to believe this because I think that's how it goes. Or like it's kind of confirmed suspicions that I had. That the elite grips are only in the plastic weapon plate, weapon crate loot pool. So we can kind of ignore wooden crates. Yeah, we've looted 11, 11 SR a few times, but it's just not like the juice is not really worth the squeeze, I don't think. Nice. You have access. I if so here's the thing. If I had had if I had time this week, which I have had zero. In fact, I've had negative time, aka I have not got enough to stuff done. Um I would have actually tried out Arena. I don't know if I would have streamed it, but I definitely would have tried it out. But I just I just working on the thumbnails for next wipe, working on the video for the the rules for next wipe, working on all that stuff. I'm not a good thumbnail artist. I'm so sorry, YouTube. Is that a... yep. Oh, okay, that's a scab. Whoa. Oh, my chat. Did you see that one tap? You see how good I am? I hope you know how good, how, like, expert of a Tarkov player you're watching here. See how fast. I just, I came up on that scav, I drew down, and just one bullet, one kill. It was so good. It's fine. It's good for PvP or warm-up, though. I believe that. Autodago. Yeah, I believe that. And that's kind of where I want it to be as well. So, but the thing is, my goals for next wipe are to get um, or to max out the hideout, which needs a, like, Several million rubles. It would be kind of neat. It would be kind of neat to like have a have Arena be a little bit of a money maker for us. You know, like allow that instead of just grinding out rubles in game. You know, like that's our warm up. Plus, we can make money. I think that'd be kind of cool. Which is why I'm leaving the rules kind of open ended. Oh, moonshine, nice. I will send the scavs. And they will bring me back to the leak grips. But, um, oh, that's nice too. But yeah, I think that could be interesting. That's, that's resort. That's like it's to the left of resort, but. But I, but so here's the other thing. It's like, it feels like it's very bare bones right now. The. I think that was a shadow. Uh, it feels like it's very bare bones right now. <clears throat> Which is fine. I'll be more excited when there's, like, more solo, like, ideas or, like, free-for-alls. Like, a 10-person like a free-for-all sounds amazing to me where, with, like, quick respawns. And by that, I mean it sounds nostalgic for... Um, it's nostalgic for Call of Duty, you know? Feels like you're playing the rank only with the wrong rules, matchings, and kits. Yeah, yeah. There's definitely some tweaks they could do. Not tweaks. Definitely some changes they need to do for that as well. From what I've seen. Again, I haven't played, so I don't really have, like, first-hand experience, you know. This is just from lurking in Chief and Hambino and um, a few others. Um, and watching them play. Like... I think it would be cool if they went full Call of Duty. And this is me personally, but I think it would be cool if they went full Call of Duty where your kit that you buy, like, they have less of a branch. They still have a branch system, but it's, like, less. There's, like, four, five, maybe six levels instead of, like, 12 or whatever it is. Maybe maybe that's what it is. It's just bigger than I think. It's smaller than I think it is. Or let's just let's even keep it simple. Let's keep it at four levels, right? And those levels have 
kind of the basic weapons of those, but in those levels, you can upgrade the parts and customize the attachments to the weapon that you're using. And the ammo that you're using as well. So, like, you could have, like, a maxed out... Let's just say the SMG starts with a Keter, right? A maxed out Keter, you get the suppressor, you get a flashlight, you get PBM. Right? That leads you to the PP-19. The PP-19 starts stock, but then you can upgrade it for a red dot. You can upgrade it for better ammo. You can upgrade it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you do it that way. I think that's a lot more satisfying, and, like, you get, like, little little incremental advantages. Um, that sort of thing. And that's that's the classic Call of Duty. It's like, you unlock more attachments, you unlock their things. And then, but, like, have it be, like, somewhat preference-based, you know what I mean? Um, so, but not in, not in ranks, it's gotta be even. So, I agree with that. I agree with that. And that's for the ammo, specifically. But I think for actual weapons themselves, like, short of, like, a red dot, which maybe you just get given a red dot on your higher... T like, your level 5 kit starts with the best ammo, uh, and, like, you're grinding for a Fortis shift over a... whatever, a KAC. You know what I mean? Um... Right, right, right. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should not have level 5 kits versus level 1 kits. Absolutely. Sorry, that's that was a given to me, which I know that's happening in rank right now. And I think that's also, like, lower player base because there's not, you know, people there. But I agree. Yeah, it should be. It should have some sort of kit calculation in there as well, right? But that's what I'm saying. So, like, if you have these... Sorry, it's hard. It's hard to... It's, it's very... It's, it's more complicated on the, than it looks like on the surface, right? So, if you have the level 1 through 5 kits... Right, if you have the level one through five kits, and say Keter was your level one, and then you had level one ranked kit fighting, somebody with a level one no not kitted out at all Keter versus somebody with slightly better ammo and the suppressor and like maybe bigger mags will have a slight advantage, but not a huge advantage. They're going to be roughly the same. So, like use use an M4 as an example, right? You have someone with, like, a kind of a stock, maybe basically kitted M4. Will have a significantly less advantage than um, a medium kitted M4. But if they're using the same ammo they, ammo, they both have a chance, right? So maybe ammo is not something you unlock in that ranking system, but maybe just weapons, parts. You know what I mean? But, like, that's the idea, right? Is that you have these levels and then within those levels you can unlock stuff that makes your stuff better and you can get it at an incremental advantage but not a huge advantage is where i was going with that so we'll see though we'll see though yeah i, I think this is i think this test is more about testing the server load than it is about tweaking anything i think they're going to tweak all of this stuff and we got gray rat coming in with that 20 month resub arena thank you so much gray rat big cheers So I think it's a we'll see. I don't think I don't think I think it's too early to judge them for not like they can't change this stuff immediately. I think they need to test the server loads. Get the tick rates right, get the FP, you know, get the frames right, get the server connections right, then work on all that stuff, right? I, you get the sounds right, get the get the bugs out. That's way more important in my opinion than this kind of stuff right now, you know? And I understand the game's not fun right now, ranked-wise, but they need to test these things. They, you know, this, this is only out for a week or two. Give them time to fix all that stuff first. And now in six months, if that's not, if that's the case, let them know. You know, that's, I think that's totally fine. Alright, those sniper scabs are still up. Sorry, that's just my, my loose thoughts on Arena here. I, again, I don't, I haven't played, I don't have any First-hand knowledge. I don't know if that was at me.
that is a really annoying banker. Did they add the barter for the antioxidant? I thought they did. I thought they added the barter for two therapists for that. I don't think this place has any plastic crates, right? I'm sorry to hear that. Do you know what the barter's for? Maybe I can tell you where, where to get the items for it. Oh, this has the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few in here. Because I have, I honestly haven't looked at it. You've been told where to get it? Okay, got it. Okay, no worries. That really does suck, though. I agree. That's... They should just remove it at this point. Like, instead of giving access to the barter. <laughs> Ten syringes? Holy crap. That's like the hardest of the medical items to find. Yeah, no. Especially without the flea market. Like, come on. <laughs> oh, it's one Bitcoin, ten syringes, or, and five, or ten syringes and five Salewa. Even five Salewa before flea market's tough to get. Um, how, how early level are you, actually? Hold on. Let's do this. How early level are you? I might have a secret for you. If you want to keep playing. You're level three? Reset your account. Reset your account. Go to your... All oh, you reset profile already. Never mind. Dang it. You're ahead of me. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry. I got nothing. You're stuck with the Shrek. And wait, so, it, so that, that continues even if you reset your account or you just reset too recently? Should have learned a different map first. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it the first time and then thought I was good over the... L I see. Gotcha. Yeah, that is a bummer. I mean, I if I had 10 syringes on my account, I'd literally barter for it and just go into a raid with you to give it to you. But I, I don't. So, does anybody, maybe some, maybe you can, like, find somebody in a Discord or chat who's, like, willing to, like, barter that for you. No, I'm saying, like, actually barter for the, for the, uh, for the thing. Oh, that's true. You get your scav runs. That's fair. You do get your scav runs. Heard something. That's all wooden crates down there. Imagine a white bug, the Shrek screen follows you over white. That would be awful. That would be awful. Man, imagine if we had keys to, to resort. You don't know how many more crates we could loot? Yeah, I totally didn't lose my key tool. Not me. Nope. Wasn't me, chat. Cav stole it. Heard something running. I'm not sure if that was a player or not. Oh, I didn't run ads before this. I'm so sorry, chat. Let's go fight this threat before ads kick in. I'm pretty sure it's just a scab, but you never know. All right. It was just a scab. We're good. Okay. This is very important for new gunsmith rules. Pocketed. For those who are confused, I, I lost a full key tool full, full of all of my uh, shoreline keys and lighthouse keys because I accidentally left it in my rig going into raid. Yeah. Yeah, I did that. Twas not nice for me. I think it's a scav. Out of breath, stop short.
sorry, it's not 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 because of rules changes for the gunsmiths, Oscar, or just like my goal is Kappa next wipe. So we're gonna be need to be like dialed in on them. Um so I did make my self I don't know what that's for, but I'm gonna grab it. Oh, why is it a rubber grip and not a elite? Are you kidding me? Getting trolled. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Still haven't gotten the grip, Otter Doggo, no. Um, what was I gonna say? The, I have a, I have a, I have a spreadsheet right now. Every time I see this one. Every time I see that one. But yeah, so now, so now that Cap has made focus, I have a spreadsheet of all of the gunsmith parts. Sorry, most of the gunsmith parts. I don't have every single one. Um, and I have little check boxes next to them where I can, like, say, hey, I completed that. Um, and my goal will be to, to get them all. And there's some really difficult ones in there. The 226 is one of the difficult ones. Um, the... I forget what the other one is. The, the, the Kaban gun is going to be difficult, unfortunately. Um, I mean, I'm still going to loot these even if they can't spawn in them. Um... Because I'm not sure if his his PKB or whatever it is, the stupid belt, the machine gun, can spawn with all the parts that we need. So. I mean, we're going to need to kill Kaban for, for Kappa as well. But, like, it's just, like, I don't know if he always spawns with the right gun. Or the, the right parts for the gun. I don't know. I don't know what's specified on that. So, there's going to be some difficulties in there. But I have, like I said, I have the I have it all set up. Ready to be checkboxed so we can, like... If I have any question of whether I specifically need that or not, we can check. You know? And that'll be good. This is all med stuff. There's a few random, hit, like, plastic crates up in these areas. I just don't remember where they are. like the nobody goes to this hallway hallway there's the safe that we had the key but sold the key for pre-wipe started well i mean yeah yeah apparently there was some other event that confirmed that it's gonna be the 26 but yeah we have um free access to labs a lot of strap 10 free access to labs we have a hundred percent boss spawn we have a few others right. um what what rooms did i miss here 222 two, two. i think that's the same as this maybe or maybe that's always open and then we have heps plus that i mean heps has a good chance of having this as well Definitely gonna go there. Uh, there's some plastic weapon crates on the roof as well, I think. But, yeah. Also, ads are kicking in, so if I get cut off, I'm so sorry. Just tell me to repeat. Apologies. I did not run them prior to this raid. can spawn with some of the parts. Gotcha. So we'll have to keep an eye out for those. I mean, we have to build an M RSAS M700, basically. So, like, there's a lot of interest... This was looted? What? Everything's a lie. Everything's a lie. I don't know what's happening right now. Maybe doing antennas this late in the wipe, I guess? Yeah, maybe. 
super bizarre. As far as I know, the only thing it doesn't always spawn with is the site. The site's easy to find. God Sneaky dang it, grenade. can't pull. Thank you for the 369. Appreciate it. Sneaky grenade indeed. We're going to uh, that's that's definitely where Sanitar is then. I think we're gonna loot East Wing here. How many minutes do we have left here? We have twenty two? Okay. Yeah, we'll go check there. We'll go check these east this East Wing area for parts. kind of curious we actually have this key for once knowing my luck we'll get a let X that we don't need actually we can get we can get the stims we need for um what's its face which is actually going to be a thing right So, it's not a bad one to have. Oh, that's just a search. My joke is that Sanitar is a gamer and always has a GPU, but he never does. I an eye pack right there. We don't, we don't really need... I'm not even really sure why I'm looting these things. We just don't really need them. <laughs> Alright, that can't go in there. Then that's useless. Just do that. I think this is required for one of the gunsmiths as well, so that's good to know. And, like, honestly, even just doing that spreadsheet really helped me kind of dial in what's required and what's not. Because I never really, like, looked at it overall before. So. Alright, I don't want to waste too much time in here. Let's just, let's just go quickly look for stuff. Of bed bags, holy smokes. I mean, that's understandable considering the map we're on and the place we're in. Mm, all right, big one there. Resort might have the most highest density of plastic crates. Maybe. Yeah, apparently the elites don't spawn in the wooden crates, or they're not in the wood loophole for the wooden crates. I don't know if all plastic crates are created equal either. So, that's also a thing. You know? Um, but, so like reserve, we're hitting a huge density of wooden crates and loose part spawns, and a few plastic crates. But... You know, I was I was actually wasting time on the wooden crates then. I mean, I, I say wasting time. Um, not really. Got a ton of great ammo, right? So, it's not really a time waste. Yeah, two thirteen. I remember this is the room I was I was thinking of. Got a nice big weapon box in here. That's a pretty good one. 
Gonna need some amount of those for weaponsmiths. So I'm pretty sure where that NACL is is a lead X spawn. Okay, all good stuff. This one opens up to here, right? Yeah. Don't have the key for that. What do we have? So do do not these. Oh, I only have third floor keys. So we'll do this and we'll zoom, zoom to hex. Heps, and go from there. Sorry about the ads, by the way. I All the 226 parts, except for the ones we need. Um, yeah, apologies for the ads. I did not time those well. I forgot to run them prior to being in raid. That's my bad. You didn't miss anything. We literally just looted. I'm okay with there being one item, as long as that item is a an elite grip. I think 316 has some parts. Like, loose parts. Yeah. Yeah, so 316 is actually pretty good. Those are all fairly decent things. I mean, plus a punch of crates, right? That's three chances here. Maybe even four. There might be one over here as well. Still a good room. Still a really good room. Knowing my luck, we'll find red key card. Oh, 322 is always open then? 322 is always open. Unless someone unlocked it and closed it, but I think 322 is just always open. there and I feel like there's like a hidden one around here somewhere. Is it this one? No, but this room is just good in general. For like hardcore purposes, but we're not, you know, we're not winning our re uh shoreline fights here. Alright, let's go to Heps. That's a pretty good density of like loose parts plus We looted the helicopter already, so. Yeah, it's not like the craziest density, but it's like with with some keys, it definitely gets better. We have pretty good keys for the actual parts too, which is which is nice. Ah, so that's good. There's like one or two plastics in there. But I think oh jeez. I think we're just gonna go this way. Oh, we'll go, we'll go Heps, and then we'll go shoot up the coast, maybe. And I may genuinely go try woods. I may genuinely go try woods. Oh, hello. You're not supposed to be up. Or rather, we heard a bunch of fighting over here. I'm surprised there is one up. Maybe they spawned after the fight. Which I suppose is always possible. Everybody's going to labs and getting excited for arena and PvP, and I'm just sitting here. Just want a 226 grip, please. No. Oh, I do want that, though. That lets me convert more DVLs. Uh, we could probably make room for that elsewhere. 
Oh, no, right. I need to make a four, two by two. Yeah. Can I not pick up that vase? Oh, there it is. GL9, huh? They can keep the labs. That's right. Big stick with Quake Maker. We don't need to worry about that. So with these. Hawk's okay. God damn it. Every single time, dude. Every single time. Uh, we already have an MDR. Um, I do kind of like these M32s. What do you have? FMJ? Yeah. Every time, man. Every time. And an RFB, huh? I don't need another one of these. I don't really need another one of those either. The Shrap 10s are interesting to me because we could potentially go finish up our... Um, our flashbang quest. All right, we're going to go gas station. So cultists are 100 percent to spawn now, but they only spawn like night-night. Not... Um, dusk. Uh oh, my green screen's freaking out. I'm sorry. Focus, focus on me, camera. Focus on me. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get some more towels to cover that up. It's just the ambient light for my uh, grow lights there. Sorry, I'm gonna be zombie pine here for a second. I thought that was all good today, but. Apparently not. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun next wipe. I think grinding for we're gonna have to get like three hundred thousand euros, basically, which is kind of nuts. Like that's a lot of euros. So. Why did I go back with the machine? Because it's better for Tarkov. In theory, of course. Can we, like, switch back to normal, please? There we go. Ugh. Uh, two inside of a uh, gas station. Yeah, two big crates. Honestly, guess, like, even even without the what we need from this being here, um, the gas station, it's, like, these crates themselves just got better in general. From just them overall buffing the loots inside the crates. God. Mm. That was good timing. That's good timing. Thank you, Cam Cool, with the boo. It doesn't help that I have to pee right now, so, like, loud noises are not great. Yeah, yeah, I like this place, too, because you're right. 95% of people don't know you can loot here. And it's not even, like, that amazing of loot. You can get trapped here, but, like, it's just, just a free top-up, especially as a scav. You know, it's just such a free top-up. But thank you for the tips, Camp Cool. They do really add up. They are a really big deal, and I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Ha! Ah, why do you keep happening? It was working so perfectly fine all this morning. Man. That's annoying. Maybe we'll have to go without it. I, I might have to... I think the real solution here is to have the, the lights off period be during stream or recording. But also the real solution here may just be I have to... Um,
I have to switch the lights, the grow lights. I just, how is this working all morning and then it's just suddenly not, you know? I don't think there's any plastic. There maybe, maybe there's one plastic crate on Sky Island. I'm not sure if it's worth going out there for. I think I'd rather reset and go to a different map. I also really have to pee, and I really want to fix my green screen, so. <laughs> there's several factors here, not just uh, gameplay. Oh, there is a big green. That's true. All right. Yeah, no, that, that, that solidifies it. I was very tempted to, to pop an SJ6 there. Not gonna lie. It's such a waste. But I have so many SJ6s. I think if I SJ6 every single raid for the rest, like twice a raid for the rest of the wipe, I think I'd have enough SJ6s. I do always forget about that big green one in the uh, in the building there. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about that stuff. We don't. We don't need anything. We literally need nothing but this two two six room. I think there's actually some loose weapon parts spawns on the floor here as well. Worst green crate ever? Yeah. That was like the old green crates. Remember how remember how bad the green crates used to be? I mean, Sky Island got a huge buff as well with all the extra loot containers. I like how they spawn now. Just get a ton of great hardware for, for little to no cost. Yeah, Sky Violet go can be up to like four to five med bags. Yeah, yeah. I mean, plus the plus the weapons crates, plus the cash, plus the tool parts. Like, it's a, it's a good overall kind of deal for for hardcore. I'm saying for hardcore. I, I always think from the mentality of hardcore. But like, if you're just trying to make money in Tarkov as well, like weapons parts, late wipe are secretly the best. I think. Got your Soleil was there? Oh hell yeah. Yeah, no, for sure, because you're looking for, like, unlooted areas, right? Need to encase my plants with tinted glass? Yeah, no, I'm going to turn them off. I'm going to turn off the lights after this raid. It's fine. They're, they're doing just fine. Okay. Nice. I mean, another DVL barrel means we can convert another DVL. So... Yeah, I would need to get something. Oh, look, there it goes. Oh, maybe it was the nighttime shade. Oh, it was the nighttime in Tarkov because there's purple and it was probably purple in the Tarkov and it was enough to put it over the edge. That's probably what it was. Interesting. But yeah, some blackout curtains would be good. I mean, the other solution is figure out my camera's settings. I bet you there's a way I can have this automatically not do that, right? But whatever setting it's on right now, it's auto-adjusting. The thing is, it's such a pain in the butt to adjust. Because I need, to, I need to be looking at what it's looking at. But then it's looking away from me. So, yeah, it's probably just the nighttime, like, pink sky there. So. All right. Yeah, we're going to get this stuff dropped off. I think. Do I just not have enough BT here? I guess we, I guess we got to get some PS going in here. Um, and what I'll do is I'll keep this, 
We'll keep this mag as the BT mag, and then we'll use that for scavs or whatever, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I think we're going to drop stuff off, and then we'll probably hop on to maybe woods. Yeah, woods sounds like fun. Um, and just sort of chill out and see what we got going on. Um, maybe try and get ourselves uh, our weapon part. I'll see y'all in raid. All right, we're in. Hopefully I have a setting that might work on my camera. No, Otter Doggo, you should. It's you should not spend this money too much money on a camera. I honestly think this might this camera may have been a mistake to buy. I think um That's all wooden crates down there. Uh, I think the Um I think I could have gotten away with using a phone camera. So thank you, Freddy. Yeah, I'm a little a little annoyed because sometimes it feels like um my notifications don't go out for Twitch streams. That's a frustrating place to be at. Okay, there's some plastic crates and weapons, loose weapons over here. And then we'll head over to... Is there any in the town? I don't think there's any in the town. You got a notification today? Okay, so maybe it's not everything. Oh, that's actually really, really sick. Because that one, once again, lets us do our M1A. I could, but I don't want to get, I don't want to get that to get too saturated with that kind of stuff. I mean, the, the, the Discord notification is always there, right? So, like, if you really, truly never want to miss stream, go to the Discord, activate the, the Discord notifications in the, in the room, and that will ping you when, when I go live or a YouTube video comes out. Or you can do you can choose either one. You don't have to choose specifically. That's totally fair. I'm the same way with the discords. I am the same way. So I used to used to tweet whenever I went live, but I just I really don't like Twitter. I really don't like social media. Do you know how many of these I've found in the past like 24 hours? Okay, so I think this M1A Pro chassis is actually the easiest way to do the M1A gunsmith, so we got to keep an eye out for that as well. That's a good one to know about. Uh, I think this is a wooden crate in here. If a crate at all. Just have Twitch open and see who's on. Yeah, that's what I do too. I go through. I go through my follow list. So I should be live in the follow list. I just the the ping of a, of me going live. It just sometimes it feels like it doesn't go out when. So this this is just, this is the scenario that happens. I open up my Twitch app. I go to me or my profile, and Twitch is like last streamed yesterday when I'm actively live. And then some days, when it feels like the, everything kind of hooked properly, it will say, you are live, go to your dashboard. Right? That's that's the that's the what like makes me feel worried about it scenario that happens. So it's a small thing, but And it could just be be, be being paranoid about it. Maybe paranoid's the wrong word, but you know, me being thinking about it too much. Hey, first boss. Good morning. Welcome to the stream. Come to the channel. Um, and if you aren't 
Oh, and then it's time to go to Discord. I have all my Twitch Discord notifications muted and wing it. Nice. Only VH on muted for obvious reasons. I mean, what are you? Moderate over there or something? My goodness. What? Okay. Bye. Been watching the Superflat stream. It's been fun. Heck yeah. Superflat's been a ton of fun. Well, we, uh, we'll be playing that tomorrow for sure. And probably Christmas Eve as well. But then... And I'm probably, I'm probably going to play it like once or twice a week until we're, you know, done with the challenge. But uh, Tarkov is wiping soon, so I'm going to be a little bit heavier on the Tarkov side of things. Instead of just our like once a week that I've been doing. So, but I'm happy you're enjoying it. I really am. It's, it's, it's a really cool thing. I've been uh, I've been enjoying the I don't know the thoughts behind it, you know. Tap two people are talking about A two R S or R S greater than A <laughs> two. What do you mean? That's Cynthia, but my personal opinion's better. Wink, wink. Exactly. First boss gets it. You know, there's a jacket here. All right, secret jacket. Show me your ways. You know what? Deal. Upgrade. Oh, and coffee? All right. Your ammo game could use a little work, but... Nice little top-up. I remember in this town over here. I don't think there's any plastic containers. I think there's a few wooden ones. So, I'm just going to the USAC camps, basically. God, labs, labs for the guide would be a nightmare. Holy smokes. 15 player spawns. Eesh. You have a Discord of that size. This, this, the spam linkage gets real, real fast, for sure. But think about how many great free Nitro giveaways you have. He says extremely sarcastically. Again, shouldn't be able to spawn in here, but according to the wiki. Why am I looting that? Bad deadline. Focus. Focus. Is there a plastic weapon crate over in that corner? I don't think there is, unless I'm forgetting one, chat. is all right chat we'll play it we're gonna play a little mini game here let or 226 grips because i think we're gonna find out i think we have a higher chance of finding a here than we do the uh the elite grips
Oh, this feels looted. There's just not a lot of stuff on that table. Yeah, this is looted. Well, that's a bummer. Probably somebody who spawned here. Oh, they didn't loot everything, everything. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, well, they didn't loot over here. So that's nice. Oh, MP5. What was that, an MBSS? Or Defiance? Great Dane. Thank you. I hope you have a tremendous Friday as well. Yeah, who, who's uh who's off for the holidays already? Lady Pine has a half day today, which is really nice. So hopefully she can get some good relaxing in. She deserves it, you know. Let you log off three hours early? Oh heck yeah. So interesting, that feels looted as well, but they missed the thermal site on the ground there? I don't know. I'm off until the 28th after. Heck yeah, dude. Let's go. Or after today, after today. I've got to write six performance evaluations to type a few loose ends, then road trip time to the parents' farm. Nice. Heck yeah. Yeah, so we got today's stream, which is all Tarkov, and then tomorrow's stream will be all day super flat. And then we'll have a tiny baby stream on the 24th. And then the festivities start. Half day today off until Wednesday. Nice, nice. That's always super hype. It is. My boss is great. A reasonable man. That's awesome. internship I had with, I had a pretty cool boss. It's like, you got your work done for today? I was like, yeah. Get on out of here. You done. Cool. My vacation started the 8th and goes to the 2nd. You love to hear it, Cam Cool. You absolutely love to hear it. Very nice. Hi there. Love your Volunteer Challenge streams? Heck yeah! Um... Uh, Dino Target. I'm super happy you enjoy. We got ZB14 to get as well. We are going to go through here and grab this plus um, Suppressor House. Yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously not playing that today, but um, I really enjoy I really enjoy producing those, and I really enjoy playing those, genuinely. Oh, that, that crate wasn't up. Dang. There are some loose parts here. Oh, well, it's a attack 30. I mean, we know it can't have it, but oh, there's a loose key there. It's one of the few loose key spawns I've ever seen. Look at this. He's 314. Start a new job in the new year. I'm a little nervous, but mostly excited. That's awesome. Congrats, Great Dane. Heck yeah. Hope you get settled in quickly and uh, easily. Yeah, EFT is very similar to the idea of Vault Hunters. Um, we go into Raid, a.k.a. A vault. I'm hunting for a, spe a specific item right now. 
think equivalent to me of hunting a um an echo ore in just like a regular vault. I gotta deal with why is this so shaky? I gotta deal with bad guys. I gotta deal with bosses. It's timed. I have 25 minutes left. I have to either survive or... Well, there's only extract in this. But... Even still. I don't think I really need that, do I? Oh, that's, the, that's this thing. I definitely don't need that. So... And right now, we're hunting a very, very rare part. So. And that's all good. You don't have to be a fan of FPS games. I would never, never expect everybody to love, you know, love FPSs or like FPSs or anything like that, you know? Instead of jewels, you have weapons parts. Right, so, yeah, that's actually a great thing. We're looking for hammering right now, basically. Or Hydra Void, or, you know, one of the rarer ones. Yeah, that's actually a much more apt comparison. But, but yeah, that's, that said, I still love Ball Hunters. Ball Hunters has been so much fun. Especially the challenges. I really enjoy adding that little extra bit of spice, you know? All right, cool. And then we can just extract here as well. Because it's open. Love to see it. Heck yeah, Mercutio. Enjoy your three full weeks of no teaching. Honestly, I, I bet I get the feeling it's for you, it's probably not even the teaching. It's the three full weeks of no grading. <laughs> it's probably the better, uh, the better thing there. First not a fan of COD or Valo or other FPS talk got something to it. It's it's got a it's got a very story story driven narrative in the sense of like short like I have a thing, I need to do a thing. Did I do the thing? No. What happened along the way? You know, it's got a lot of it's got a lot of cool aspects to it where Call of Duty's just like, are you good at this game? Yes. Win lots. Are you bad at this game? Yes. You lose lots. Um Yes, there is first boss. If you go check my episode 34 in the Sky Vault series, I run all the commands for that because that's exactly what I did for patch 9. I soft reset. I kept my world, but I reset everything back to zero. So yeah, Sky Vault season 2 or 3, whatever the latest season was. Um, it's got like pink lettering for the uh, the episode numbers. And then episode 34 is when I did that reset. And, of course, somebody here might, might know it off the top of their heads as well. But. All right. Once again, I don't have enough space for all this junk. <laughs> that we're never going to use. You know? That we're just straight up never going to use. So. What do I want to do here? We're going to figure it out. I don't think we're going to run woods again. We might as well just go to a different map. Um, hmm. We're technically 22% done with the guide. Hey, no worries, Dino. No worries at all. We will catch you um, either during during a super flat stream or uh, or a you know Minecraft stream or uh, have fun watching the YouTube if you want to watch all the YouTubes, it's all there. So 13 million out of five jump boxes. Now I got bored. Yeah, it's fair. <laughs> that's totally fair. We could we could go for this. Just factory PvP to get this thing going. <laughs> it's so annoying, Tatsumi. Oh, is it episode 33? Sorry.
Hmm. I'm trying to think of a way to get like get a bunch of room here going here. I mean, we could sell this. We could bring in this this thing. All right. I'm gonna go through with Twitch chat. I'm gonna we're gonna purge some stuff here. Maybe I'll unpause for like the what we sell, but there's definitely some stuff we just. I'm not planning on doing any other gunsmiths past this. I'm not planning on like because I think we have to wait a certain amount of time after this as well. So like I'm gonna sell anything that's specific for any other gunsmith besides. Um, the 226 and then hopefully that'll open up a bunch of room and yeah we'll kind of just go from there because I just I physically can't use all these things we might as well just save some room here so I'm going to do that and I will uh, catch you when we figure it out I've totally been forgetting to unpause this is mostly just a weapon purge we have too many weapons alright we also have a new weekly no now we've made a little bit of money. Because I guess there's always a chance that these things provide us with... Um, the grip, right? Like, that's I guess that's, in theory, possible. Survive the lab 17 times? I'm good. I am also kind of curious if I can get... Um, one of these guys is rep, rep low enough. Survive the lab 17 times again. Dang, now that's a reward. That's pretty cool. But still. But, like, I'm wondering if, like, I can actually get these low enough where, like, we go down a level in them. I don't think you can. But I'm not 100%. We could also go broke this way as well. Eh. All right. Done with that. I used all my stuff. All right. There's a little bit more room there. We also have two extra DVLs, which is pretty cool. Uh, we used the Arch Archangel on this M1A. We have it's all kitted up for test drive if we want it to be. Um, eh. I do want to use this TX-15 at some point this wipe, or the, uh, the uh, before the end of this wipe, so we're going to be using that relatively soon. Um, we'll take that to reserve. Uh, we never get long-range kills on that. I don't know. We're going to kind of just keep going with this kit. We're going to go to interchange, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in raid. All right, late spawn from Dead Pine, because th that loading was ridiculously fast. Power turned on. Oh, kill is gonna 100% be up? That's gonna be rough. I don't know how fast these PS rounds get through level 5. I'm assuming it's not very fast. Uh, and there's actually a good chance we should just go underground here. Did forget about that whole... 100% boss thing. Maybe we should have come in with something that was a little bit more capable of doing the murder with him. Okay, so we're looking for plastic crates and loose spawns. Because I don't know where they all are. Oh, there's loose spawns. I have a Glock. Look at that. Deal. Sorry, I know where some of them are. I don't know where all of them are. It's all good, Oscar. It's more of a we'll figure it out when we get to the when we meet him. Okay, no, 
not seeing any crates. I wonder if there's anything in these trucks. I don't think so, because you can't really easily get into them. Yeah, the fire rate's fast enough where it might. Could also te theoretically leg meta him with it. It's That's tough to do, though. We can also just hope that, just like this, somebody else is trying to kill him. That's fine. This is probably where I should have the map up. And try to, uh... Figure out where all the spawns can be. But I'm not seeing any down here. I know there's a few, and again, I know this. I know the spot. I know a few spots, but there's one. AP's in there. That's a good one. I don't really like that thing. I would say this is the highest amount of plastic crate spawn map. Any cartographers? That's what chat was saying. I could put that on there. Upgrade. Charlie. Coming in hot with that Prime Gaming. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Might be one of the crates with the loose spawns. No. Oh, this is eleven. This is eleven SR area, right? No. No. Other side of the map. Dead pine. Oh, you don't apologize for being MIA. Life is life. That's how it goes. Not losing frames on my side. I really, I really got to test out. Slightly lower bitrate. I think some of my problems might be stemming from that. Charlie with a gifted sub as well to leg us Jedi. Weber, 40 Jedi always good to have Jedi in the mood. Sub to Lego's Getty. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Really appreciate that for sub number six today. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Powers on. These are gonna be guns then? Oh no. Interesting. Is this necessary? No. Is it habit? You better believe it is. That's what crap it is. Is it shotgun man? I guess it's just because of these plastic crates. Oh, I do like that. That one's okay. Somebody's angry. <sighs> Somebody's dead, yeah. Well. It's fair.
Jesus Christ. What the freak was that? Why did that hit right next to me? Was that from behind? That was weird, dude. Yeah, maybe Garage Scav? Hard to say. Beat these shreds, man. You, you, killed, you killed a man, too. Bunch of M80s. What is this? BTs? SMB maybe? PS. Alright, well, that's those are deals. We'll get we'll get one mag filled up in case we would need to ditch one. And BT. BT's pretty good too, I thought. I'm not really too too worried about it though. Kibba would be good, man, but we don't we only have the we only have one of the keys. He did have a better bag, but the better bag I have the more I loot and the more junk I gotta sort through. <laughs> Which I know is silly, but is active loot prevention. that. That might be killer. Because the way he's rotating. Not killer. But boy, were you rotating like him. Weird. Alright. Back on task, that time. God. There's so many things happening at once. Carlos, thank you for the 369. That didn't, like, make me jump, but boy, did that short-circuit my brain for a second. <laughs> like, what just happened? Oh, I do have BT. Hold on. What am, I, what am I talking about? It's like, we can't reload. I don't have BT. Yes, I do. Silly dead pine. To get back downstairs and loot that way. Oh 
Oh, goodness gracious, they're just, they're everywhere. Let's go this way. My normal route. We're looking for crates. There's a bunch over here. God! Mm, that one's loud. That one puckered. Thank you for the tips, everybody. <sighs> Thank you. I'm done. Brother. Just making sure you're caffeinated? Yeah. Excited for my second cup of coffee. Good morning, Mark. Doing pretty well. We're having some fun in Hardcore Tarkov. Still having trouble finding our uh, Elite 226 scripts, but, you know, that's part of the journey, right? If I got the grip, I'd have put it in the Epsilon? No. Nope. That's half the fun. I would beeline for extract, whatever's closest. Willing to sacrifice backpacks filled with lead X's. Should probably re reload this as well, or have that be loaded. To note that when you said it was kill it, I held back until it wasn't. Until you knew it wasn't. It's, that's very kind of you. Wow. So benevolent. So generous. I genuinely hate that grip now. Trying to work on, you know, leading the shot there, that sort of thing. Always good to practice. Shoot the grip, yeah. Oh god, you scared me. I was sprinting. Thanks for crouching into my shots, I guess. that's the best M4, best in slot M4 for that, I think. Fastest way to go here. The one over there is wooden. There's a plastic here. Let me go down and around, I guess. 
little convoluted, but who doesn't? Ah, maybe we'd, maybe we'd take our SJ6 as well. I guess I should have brought food if we're going to do that. Maybe we will, we will start doing that. But yeah, I think I'm going to, like, we have, we've got, like, less than 10 raids left in the series, I think. If, if we survive, right? If we keep dying over and over again, obviously. And I have more than 10 SJ6s, so. And I think I am going to skip the one down below and go for power here. Because that's going to take a second. There's a decent chance we die to kill her. Heading back upstairs here. Also, it's cold with my door open. I gotta go close that. I guess there's one out there. Several in here. We'll start this direction. It would be, it would be kind of funny if they replaced all the, it like redid how they did the gunsmiths, and I had to replace my entire uh, spreadsheet. That would be really funny. I get the feeling without all them, you know, I know it's a separate team, but with everybody working on arena, <laughs> I think it's like the last thing they're thinking about, you know. <laughs> But you never know. You never know. We're gonna go V Max. So shouldn't shouldn't actually spawn in this. Technically speaking. Car is up. That's nice. I don't really know where that SKS scab. Oh, you're in. You're there. I didn't know you could even go there as a scab. Oh, this is why I miss things. I don't see you either. by a bush. I don't know. Scav's doing something, Scavy. Power, please. Where is this Scav? I got nothing, Jet. I'm probably gonna get a shot in the back here. I don't have a mega BT. I think BT will get through Killa's armor quick enough. Maybe. Hopefully. We have level 5, too, but you never know with that guy. Oh, there's still somebody up there? Are you st why is there still people in this raid? Not sure why this popped up again. Anyways, good time zone, y'all. Thank you so much, Hannah Montana. Really appreciate that. Um, I don't know. Did you share it already, or? I guess it depends. Yeah, we did that one already, Autodoggo. Yep. But either way, I appreciate the Prime subbage. It's always, always appreciated. Ether, with the Pine Hype! Pine Hype. 
That's also 25% of our daily goal. You'll love to see it. Thank you for sub number eight today. Really appreciate that. Some loose parts in here, but nothing too wild. Um, I can uh, moon blocks. Just give me one second. An otter doggo share in their prime to start a hype train. Holy smoke. Super cold in here. We are now in a hype train. You'll love to see it. So, um, yeah. 50% 50, 50 level one. If you want in on this, prime subs, resubs, gifted subs, 100 bits or more will get you in on those emotes. There are new ones. So, if you got them, time to share. Uh, but Moonblocks, the... Are you familiar with Vault Hunters? This is going to be the easiest if you're familiar with Vault Hunters. I don't, I don't want to just assume that you are, you know. Thaladin, thank you for the 100 bits. Much appreciated. No idea about Vault Hunters. Okay. Uh, are you familiar with Diablo or Path of Exile? No, nah, there's no timer in that zero given. I guess there's no timers in some of those other maps as well. Let's create there. Yeah, any type of ARPG type of type of deal. Let's just assume I've only ever played Minecraft. Okay. Just vanilla-based Minecraft. Um, hmm. Yeah, it doesn't... Like, Vault Hunters is close, but it doesn't really quite get there. Min! Coming in hot with 15 gifted subs. Holy smokes. Min, thank you so much. Yeah, so I might not be able to explain it in Minecraft terms. I mean, I can explain the game. I can explain the game. It's it's a looter shooter. So this thing up at the top right-hand corner, that's my timer. I have 14 minutes left in this raid. Um, I have to go in, accomplish tasks, kill bosses, which is sometimes part of cast, get loot for money, maybe? Get loot for... Guess it's time other stuff? to join the train. I, Give I don't me know. Them emotes. Give me them emotes. Cynthia with 100 biddies getting on this level 3 hype train now. Holy smokes. So, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a character. I'm a PMC, private military contractor. I have levels. I level up. I get... Um, I level up, like, kind of soft skills. Like, strength and endurance and health skills and, like, recoil control for guns, etc. I think I went the wrong way here. Time for the choo-choo. Um... Time for the choo-choo. Angel getting in on this hype train as well. And then once you do that, you have to survive and get out. And it's it's very brutally hardcore. And But you're looting stuff the entire time. You're killing the bots. You're killing um, other players. There are other players that can spawn in here with you. That sort of thing. Um, and it's very satisfying because it is kind of brutally hardcore. When you die... Or, and in particular, when I die, because I'm, I'm playing with my own self-imposed rules, but when you die, you tend to lose all of your stuff that you're carrying with you. So, like, you're risking you're risking the stuff that you earned. And that makes it satisfying when you get more stuff out of the raid. You know what I mean? So, I guess, I guess, I guess it would be closest to hardcore Minecraft. At, at base game. Um... Yeah, dying in the void. You don't get it back. It's just, it's gone. Deleted. So. Yeah, no, it's very it's very satisfying. It's got a really cool gameplay loop. It's very, very, very satisfying to accomplish things. In particular. Uh, 
Sorry. We can have boss man here. Um, in particular, with the rule set that I have it. Thank you. It is, it is one of the most addicting games I've played since Minecraft. Like, even, even PUBG, which I was very obsessed with for a few years, like, fell off fairly quickly after a certain amount of hours. Um, so, yeah. This has not. Oh my gosh, Twitchy85 with the gifted sub as well. Twitchy85 gifted a tier one sub to Chevelle 57. Just not taking any chances that these may be. Ah, the boss. Which it was not, so. Okay. Not expecting there to be anything there. I do actually wish we had Kibba. Kind of sweet. We've looted all of these crates here. Those crates to the left. Let's just let's just open up 11 SR and see what we got. Two eighty five. Seriously, thank you for the gifted sub. And if you got gifted a sub from any of these any of these kind gifters, enjoy the emotes, enjoy the ad free. I really appreciate y'all just being here. Honestly, bummer. Straight up M4 there. Uh, we probably would have time to go do the other run. It doesn't take that long. We know kill is not down below. NM crazy coming in. With a five gifted as well. Holy smokes, Chad. We're at 30 out of 32 today. Y'all are epic. Thank you so much for the epic support. Embedded, embedded M4, yeah, yeah. All right, let's um. Let's do that. Let's let's shed some weight here. We'll go make the run. It's fine. It's it's not a bad run. Oh, I don't know if I looted the one under the container here as well. No, 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 no. M floor. <laughs> I see. I see what you did there. But uh, seriously, guys, thanks for the source of the gifted subs, the resubs. We're also level four hype train, which is pretty sick. Like I said, if you guys want in on this, gifted subs, resubs, prime subs, 100 bits or more. That's how you get on it. But just, just sharing your primes or sharing your resub is a huge deal. And I really appreciate it. We've checked all of these spots, by the way, so... I, did I hit the lever, chat? I don't know if I hit the lever. We might just have to get out here. Shoot. Did we hit the lever to open up the uh, loot? I don't think I did. Oh, I don't have enough food either. All right, we might be just getting out here. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That that The loot over there is not even that good anyway. Crap, would cobble one stick? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we hadn't we hadn't powered up object 14. I'm, I'm just gonna get out then. I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Uh nothing else we missed here. Okay. Yeah. Out we go. Out we go. Anarchy was an online MMORPG. When people die, you could loot. You could just come back and try to get your gear before uh, the others take it. This game is the same concept, but an FPS. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it's got that FPS skin. So we killed an actual player. This is another person playing like I am. And then the rest of these guys are, are bots that we killed. Kind of like zombies. So, good stuff. Okay. Well, we did that thing. We survived. the. Uh, this This is pretty sweet, though. Because we can do... If we get rid of this, we can do... This. Gotta get rid of that, too. Then we can do this guy. We can do... 
you, we can do you. And that's looking mighty fine. I do enjoy a good a good all tan build. I think that's a lot of fun. That there. Oh yeah, get a little bit of that going. And then we can do um, that guy out there. Nice. So we could theoretically go use that somewhere. Which is not the worst idea in the world. Like that wave suppressor as well. That can get sold. P mags are pretty good. Um, hmm. I kind of like this idea of just, like, we're loosely going through all the maps, and maybe we get there on the guide. Probably not, because Labs is probably going to murder us, but, like, whatever. I'm not concerned about it, you know? Look at that. Perfect amount. Um, you know, like, I'm just genuinely not concerned about it. Um, so where do we go for weapons parts? I mean, Customs has some good stuff as well. Um, we could do, we could do Lighthouse. Lighthouse has a bunch of stuff. That's a bunch of the plastic crates. I'm, I'm assuming most of the plastic crates are in the rogue area though, which is kind of the bummer of that. And I'm assuming the goons are 100% are up there as well. Because not a lot of the plastic containers are in where we really want to be. Hmm. I'm like, where do I want to be going right now? I kind of want to go to woods again. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Like, we don't have to keep doing what we're doing. You know what I mean? Like, we can, we can, we really can just. Hang out wherever we need to hang out, you know? That's it. I think this SR2M is kind of used up here a little bit. Uh, oh, no, we have, we have a bunch of PS rounds. We'll be all right. Some of these have some BT in them. How much BT we have left? Not a ton. This might be the last raid we use this in, on then. And that's fine. We'll do that because I feel like being ridiculous. So that's where we're going to be at. Haven't really had to heal yet, which is weird. We need food. Oh, we're going to SJ6 everywhere too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's grab at least two, if not three. And how many do we actually have here? We've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have eleven. Twelve. Even. So, yeah, we can start SJ6ing everywhere. And we'll just bring in, you know, sprats we're not going to use. Uh, we're not going to refresh our factory key, so we can use that. We'll just bring in, bring in these guys. I don't think we're getting fuel and crafting in our hideout much anymore, so. Um, we'll just eat those right away. Just have a bunch of... Although, Woods is a good, good map for a bunch of extra food, but... You get the idea. We'll keep the PS rounds in here as well. Because why not? All right, cool. But I feel like going back to Woods. That said, YouTube, that's got to do it for this episode. Nearly two hours in here. So we got two more left. We'll see if we can get these 226 parts. Um, we know there's a guaranteed spawn there. We'll probably just keep hanging around Woods and uh, uh, Shoreline here. Because uh, we could work on the guy. But honestly, I want to keep using this kit. I like, I like this kit. So, um, But uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Happy christmas eve eve for those who celebrate that i don't know if that's even a thing um 
I'm very excited for next wipe. Looking like the 26th. It's going to be a great time. So 26th, expect a rules video. 27th um, will be a gap. I'll probably release the video the 28th. The first the first video the 28th. Um, which I know is a little bit late, but I want that to be the same time every day. So, uh, yeah. Great stuff. Make sure you follow the YouTube. Make sure you follow the Twitch channel. Make sure you're... Well, if you can, I would appreciate a consideration of a sub to the Twitch channel as well. Sharing the primes, all that good stuff. Really help support the content. And uh, I'll catch you in the next episode.